Questions of opposition to shale gas development in the province at Colette, the meeting of municipal leaders and also the meeting of mayors in Kent County. Also the band council resolutions from First Nations communities that have desi that desire shale gas exploration to stop. Has your administration reconsidered its position on shale gas in the province? We've we've been clear from, from square one. Uh, in 2010 we ran on a, an election uh, platform. That platform included the responsible development of uh, of the shale gas sector. Uh, right now we're in exploration. What is taking place is se seismic work, which uh, quite frankly takes place across uh, North America every day. Uh, that work is is ongoing and then at that point at the end of that uh, there will be uh, decisions that will be made and taken by companies on whether there is uh, potential for the development. Um, there will be decisions as well in terms of whether they will file for necessary uh, permitting, necessary environmental impact assessments, etc. So uh, again, it is very early in the process uh, and we're looking forward to seeing what the next steps will be. Thank you. But, Thank you. But today you, you mentioned we're on First Nations land. The First Nations communities have been very vocal in their opposition. Uh, and they claim that the territory where gas extraction is going to be conducted has never been ceded and that the government doesn't have a right to conduct exploration in these territories. Do you have a comment? Uh, what, uh, what I can say, and again, there, there is a, a difference uh, uh, even within uh, First Nations peoples on uh, what, uh, what next, next steps sh should be and will be. Uh, what I can say, as uh, First Nations peoples have been engaged thus far, they will be, they will uh, continue to be very engaged as we go forward. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Take care. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit, son. <laughs> how come you never, how come you never mentioned shale gas in your speech? Look, today wasn't uh, uh, a day about uh, shale gas, or is it? It wasn't a day about uh, road work that was going on in New Brunswick. Uh, it wasn't a day about uh, developing the ICT sector in New Brunswick, which is going on. Today was a day about celebrating New Brunswick I and, thought, the I thought people, being... and the people of New Brunswick. And today we honoured, was very pleased that we honoured 10 people with the Order of New Brunswick, and that's what the, the message was about today. I thought being in Blytheville you would mention show gas, but I was wrong. Oh. Imagine me wrong. <laughs> Charles, you and I, we get things together most of the time. Yeah. No. Uh, the, uh, the today wasn't about uh, any one issue or or uh, one uh, one specific uh, point of interest. To, today was about celebrating New Brunswick and and the people, and that's what we did. One more thing, right quick. Does that bother you? Look at the nice nice river. Can no. you imagine shale gas around here. Look, the uh, uh, the shale gas sector has a responsibility, just as any development has a responsibility to do it in a responsible way and we've said that from square one. Or they can ruin Take our care. water at the same time, eh? What's that? Or they can ruin our water at the same time? Uh, Premier, Absolutely not. I agree with you. I agree. I'm waiting for your return call from your office. I have put the call in as you requested. Um, with okay, that being said, I okay, we are here as New Brunswickers. We do not have a celebration today in our capital city of New Brunswick, so we had to come here to Blockville. Um, Councillor Hennessy, though, put out a paper that said that anti-frackers were not welcomed in the community and would be escorted off by RCMP. So are we welcomed here as New Brunswickers? Absolutely, and you're here as, as New Brunswickers. Definitely. So. Can you please make sure that Hennessy puts out an apology? That's or? not what he said. That's, That's not what he I said. Can, I can clear it up for if you want. I okay. saw it in writing. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, I'm not Councillor Hennessy. I'm yep. Matt Sturgeon, Mayor here. Thank you very much. Um, Councillor Hennessy's statement that has garnered a lot of attention in the last couple yes. weeks uh, was nothing more than a Facebook post uh, telling people that if people were going to be coming to this event uh, and and causing uh, causing any interference with what was going to go on, which didn't happen. Yes. And uh, and you can see that nobody's being escorted off the property, mm -hmm. right? Uh, as long as people were here in a respectful manner, responsible manner, and not trying to obstruct what we're trying to do, what the purpose of the day is. We have no problem with that. It never did. Yeah, so do you think that Councillor Hennessy owes an apology for that Facebook post? I don't Facebook think so. Post? I don't think so. That was he's a public figure and he put that out um, on Facebook? That would be up to Councillor Hennessy, but, but for me, I mean, I, I've gone over that post a thousand times in the last couple of weeks. And uh, it was nothing more than precautionary in telling people that if such and such a thing happens, we're, we're prepared to deal with, with, with what happens. And look, uh, in terms of you, you and I have, have spoken before. Uh, and. Uh, no matter who uh, 
uh, the individuals are that uh, want to raise their concerns on any issue. What I've said from uh, square one, and I answered this already, when, when people are demonstrating in a lawful way, when okay. people are respectful and peaceful, then uh, that is an important right. part of who and we are uh, as a people, and that's why yeah, and we're talking. And you know, David, we've always been able to maintain Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Um, and I just want to make sure that we understand that is our right, and our responsibility is to take care of the land and the water. So we have to remember that. And like and I said, when, excuse me, David, I'm still speaking. Us. For each um, and every one of us. Like I said, too, when I began this conversation, was I'm still waiting for a call from your office. You told me. Yep. And I had no idea me. that anybody had called. I so, have called you. Okay, so so I will make sure that that happens. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Wait, Good. Second, you, you were talking about responsibilities of the shale gas, like SWN and whatnot. The responsibility that they have to, you know, responsible uh, exploration. Have you actually gone to a site where SWN has gone through? Yes, I have been. You've been at yes, Airline Road. I have not been to... Uh, have you seen the destruction that SWN has done to our wetlands? Have you seen the destruction that SWN has done to our medicines, our hunting territory? Have you actually gone and seen that, sir? So the answer is no. How do you feel? Good? What's feel that? good? You feel good? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. It's a good day, a big turnout, and that's what that's it's good. all about. Okay.